You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We had a caller from Macedonia that had some really interesting points to make about radical Islamists being brought into all those countries and protected by the West, but he hung up. We're finishing up with Steve. Charles de Gaulle, after World War II, basically they started setting up the Bilderberg Group and other organizations. You can say what you want about him, but he was for sovereignty in the French people. And he called all the major French leaders in in a famous speech and said, when he was elected president, we're not going to tolerate any of you being sold out to foreigners. We're going to have national sovereignty. And I'm basically going to come after you if you engage in treason. You can differ with what the government's saying, but you're not going to work with foreign outsiders. The French basically ended up grabbing their nuclear weapons away from NATO at an airport. There was a big standoff. That stuff's in the history books, but most people don't know about it. And then the West, through British intelligence and the Jackal, tried to actually kill de Gaulle. You won't see that in the history books, but that's in some of the deeper documents. What you have is a bunch of financial interest, and the, the French president is a puppet, totally trying to indebt them, get them into a socialist system. You can make fun of France being so socialist, folks. We're only a few years away from that. Obama just came out and announced free community college, as if it'll be free. It'll be indoctrination. It'll fully federalize community college. So we look at France... And where they've gone, that's where we're going. And just as they use 9-11 to take our freedoms, they're going to use this now to take French freedoms. And France has been deeply involved, the French government, in funding these very jihadis. Uh, other points you'd like to make as someone in France, as you said, dreading uh, the militarization of police uh, that will obviously be used on you. Anything else, Steve? You know, I think we have no choice in France to go to a uh, uh, militarized police. Uh, nobody has guns, nobody has arms. We cannot defend ourselves against uh, standoff like this. Uh, and it's never going to happen. It's not in the mentality of French people to have weapons at home. Um, so it's never going to be happening. So they have to come up to, to this uh, solution of more police. And I think we are going to be the ones following America with a with stronger police. Now, America may follow in regard to socialism down there, uh, down the road, but we are the ones following America. And the, apparently the uh, U.S. government has already proposed to help France to set up uh, anti-terrorism action in France, etc. Isn't that I'll just perfect? It. The West creates a new giant Al-Qaeda ocean, breaks the dam, pours them into our countries, and now they're going to take our freedoms and put us in a prison collectively, a giant gulag, a giant ghetto, to protect us. Isn't that just sweet? And, and think about it. This didn't stop the French having their guns taken the last 30 years. Didn't stop the jihadis from getting RPGs. You can't buy those anywhere. Any other comments? No, I don't, I don't, I don't know how French people would get those kind of weapons. It's impossible. Well, I think they had help, clearly, and uh, I think we're going to find out that the French government knew and bare minimum, quote, dropped the ball and let this happen. What do you think? Uh, could be. I don't know. It's like uh, they, they have to have a rat in the, in the deal because they knew exactly. It was known that they were meeting every Wednesday, but uh, they had to know uh, more details. Uh, I don't know. It's just shocking for everybody, and uh, I, but I think uh, I think because of this action, we're going to come up to the same new drive as America. I hear you. I appreciate your call, and of course, the final point in all of this, we'll come back and take more calls and cover news. The French have a system just as sophisticated as the NSA, spying on stuff. It's come out in the news thousands of times. Didn't stop the attack. These guys had Facebook accounts that. I would have investigated. But these things are everywhere. Jihadis bragging, always with their rap music for some reason, it always goes together like a horse and carriage. 
about what major OGs they are and about the jihad they're about to pull are just all over Facebook and Twitter. And they're allowed to operate. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. you got to set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. Every year we make resolutions to lose weight and get in shape. And the truth is, it's hard. Even with diet and exercise, because of toxic food and our environment that is stressing our bodies more than ever before. Working with experts in nutrition and biochemistry, I found that super high quality nutraceuticals, in addition to my diet and exercise, were the answers that synergistically worked. I can see the drastic changes every day with the amount of weight I've lost, my increased stamina, and more of a twinkle in my eye. That's why we are now so excited to launch the InfoWars Life Resolution Pack, combining three essential formulations, oxygen-based cleanser oxy powder, the secret 12 bioavailable vitamin B12, and your choice of super female or super male vitality. Now all available at a discounted price to you and your family to bring in the new year and make 2015 a true success. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. 2015 is the year to do it, and it all starts at InfoWarsLife.com. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We've got Alexander in Macedonia. We're going to him in one moment. We've got Kevin in Nova Scotia, Canada. Betsy in Montana. Jim in Oklahoma. Tex in Michigan. Adam in Oregon. John in California. John in Texas. Matt in New York. We're going to all of you. Wide open phones on this Friday. We're now well into the second hour here. I'm Alex Jones, your host. Infowars.com is the main news site. Exclusive to InfoWars, terrorist fired RPG inside Charlie Hebdo office. High-level military source confirms use of RPG in attack, which killed 12. Well, it killed 10 inside, two police officers outside. It had been reported uh, on the RPGs being seen but not used. With the Daily Mail mentioning that some had said an RPG was used. Well, we've confirmed it, InfoWars.com. We've also got high-level sources, two different ones, on Rick Perry and there being a hit out uh, on Rick Perry by the Mexican drug cartel. That's on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. That's all coming up with a bunch of economic news, global warming weather news, uh, and what's happening with the oil economy. It's all coming up after I go through all the callers that are currently holding. We just took a call from France. Uh, saying they fear a police state, they're not allowed to be armed. Judge Napolitano rightfully said on Fox News, it's like shooting fish in a barrel because no one is allowed to be armed. What cowards to go around and shoot a bunch of unarmed people. I will say this before I go to your calls. No one I know is buying this. 
almost none of our listeners are buying it. And quite frankly, they're a little ticked with me that I'm not saying out of hand it's a false flag. It is a false flag. The media has promoted, I'm going to explain it, not a false flag that these aren't real terrorists. They're synthetic. The culture's promoted it. They've been protected. He was in prison. He was trained under a jihadi. They were allowed to go to Yemen. They had all these weapons. They had Facebook clearly planning this. They were protected. So it is a false flag in that respect. Just like they created the new Al-Qaeda forces and gave them money in Syria. That's the whole point of this. Then when they attack us, the government has an excuse for an authoritarian takeover. But I don't think it's a fake shooting. I don't think it's a blue screen. I don't think that the, you know, I, I, looking at it right now, I may be wrong. The West is funding radical jihad all over Europe. They're trying to overthrow Russia with it. Putin's called us out on it. Do you understand the CIA funded the Tsarnet brothers to go to Chechnya on record? That was in mainstream news. I don't know what happened with the Boston bombing. I just know that should be looked into. Every time these people have Western intelligence sock puppeting them. They're always narcissistic people that want to be movie stars. Who then get set up, think they're agents, double agents, and get set up in drills. I don't know. I just know past cases, MI6 was behind the 7-7 bombings. That came out. Let's go to Alexander in Macedonia. That's where the real Alexander the Great came from, Macedonian world conqueror. Uh, who knows, Alexander might be related to him. Alexander, what is your take uh, uh, there in the former Greek province, I guess now a UN zone, UN occupied zone, what is your view from Macedonia on what's happening? 100%, we, uh, I'm a first time caller. Uh, uh, I listened to your show for uh, many years. And uh, what's my take? Uh, I just want to tell you a few facts about the, the jihadist terror we are living under. Uh, maybe we have this giant statue of uh, King Alexander uh, on the, the main square in Skopje, but in fact, we, we, we are under jihadist uh, uh, slavery. Uh, we are slaves. Uh, we are paying uh, dimity to them in, in, in forms of, uh, of we are paying taxes, utilities, and everything, our business are uh, financially broke. Uh, the, uh, the jihadis are not paying anything, you, you know, and, and, and just multiplying uh, each year. Now, now let's explain uh, the socialist plan. To explain to people, uh, Macedonia, formerly part of Greece, what the UN did, how they brought it down, how they brought in all the foreigners. They give them everything free, and then they act as the group to blow stuff up if you get out of line, and then the police, because uh, I mean, I'm, I'm familiar with the situation Macedonia is under. Explain to people the model they'll use in London and Paris and in New York. Yeah, that's Macedonia nowadays is like Kosovo 20 years ago or Lebanon 30 years ago. So the same uh, situation, it's like copy paste, uh, you know, uh, agenda. Uh, in, on the, in the whole of uh, near, uh, uh, near East, uh, Middle East, and uh, the Balkan countries. But I want to be effective. I don't want to uh, waste your time. I just want to tell you about this, uh, the Easter massacre, which happened in Macedonia when the jihadis killed five of our kids, 20 to 21 years old. They were just fishing on the reservoir, and none of this mainstream media has told the thing about this massacre. You know, in a country of less than 2 million, we are 2 million according to census, but about half a million of, of the people fled, you know, because of the, uh, you know, economic downturn uh, to kill five kids. Uh, you know, that, that's like uh, killing 750 kids in, in, in the state. So uh, nobody mentioned about it. So I, I, uh, you have a lot of admirers and listeners here in, uh, in the Balkans, in Macedonia, all over the place. So I would like to, as, you know, uh, St. Paul got this call to, to come to Macedonia, to Philippi, Thessaloniki, Beria. I want, I, I want to invite you to, on 2015, this spring or summer, to come down here and, and see what the situation is. We are, we are living in a servitude. We are confined to our homes. We cannot let our kids go out on the streets. These jihadist gangs are, are roaming the streets, you know, stabbing, mugging, and, and, and we have this acoustic jihad five times a day, and you know the